Tilling the soil releases carbon into the air, increasing CO2 levels. But new techniques are allowing farmers to build up carbon in their fields and still grow crops. Conventional agriculture using conventional tillage type of equipment introduces oxygen into the soil in much higher quantities than would occur naturally. That oxygen provides for the respiratory needs of organisms, microorganisms, that break that carbon down and release it as CO2, just like an automobile might release it. As we move forward, we're starting to see the implementation of conservation agricultural practices, no-till, zero-till, minimum till, and those kinds of things. And what they do in effect is they reduce that disturbance, they reduce the oxidation, and they reduce the release of carbon. I would put no-till agriculture in there as probably the, the most effective way to store carbon in agricultural soils while simultaneously producing a crop. No-till farming from its conception has been basically been a concept where you, you seed and raise crops with a minimal amount of soil disturbance. Generally preparation for planting uh, begins at harvest time. The first thing that a no-till farmer needs to do is get good residue management done and that residue management will will vary depending on what your seeding equipment is, what your crop rotations are, but generally you just need a very even distribution of straw and chaff behind the combine. The planting operation for most no-till farmers is a one-pass operation. Once the crop is planted is really no different than any other farming operation. If you have weeds or diseases, you apply a pesticide accordingly. Harvest operation is done the same as a conventional operation, other than keeping the residue management in mind. Some of the other side benefits would be lower energy use in a no-till farming operation. I know in my own farming operation, when all you do is seed and harvest, and you don't have those other heavy energy consuming tillage practices, cut your fuel consumption probably in half. Soil conservation has been absolutely, hands down, uh, much better in a, in a no-till environment. When you leave residue roots intact on the soil surface, your soil structure and everything will resist water erosion and wind erosion. It reduces it by tenfold of what a conventional farmer sees. The environmental benefits of a no-till farming system, along with the soil conservation aspects of it, is water quality. The uh, primary difference is you'll carry a lot more sediment load out of that field in a conventional operation. That obviously has an effect on our streams and lakes and municipal water supplies that use out of those. <music>